Assembly stand. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome everyone to one of my favorite assemblies of the year. I know I say this every year, but every year is still true. Um, the, uh, as many of you know, the Math B is a red and blue competition where one student of each color competes per grade and solves challenging math questions. This means two students per grade from first to eighth grade. That is a total of 16 students. So you will see them when they, they're probably already showing on your screen. There will be two rounds of questions and we will have a third round if we need a tiebreaker. All the participants are actually in front of me in the auditorium right here, but they will also be shown on YouTube. To the audience, everyone who's watching now, feel free to write down the work for all the problems and try to solve them for yourself. Try to challenge yourself. To the participants, you should have scrap paper in front of you, pencil, a small whiteboard, a marker, and a small eraser. Each question will be presented by me, and I will read the question aloud for you. You will then have one minute to answer each question. You can do your work on the scrap paper. You have scrap paper in front of you, or you can actually do it right on the board and then erase it and write the final answer. Whatever you prefer is fine. Um, please remember to write units if necessary. You, you well, Mr. Prasad will give you a 10 second uh, warning, so you'll know you have 10 seconds if you need to write something down or change anything. And at the end of that time, you will pick up your whiteboard, you will show it on the screen so that everyone can see it. And Miss Sarah is going to walk around and she's going to actually look at the answer. She'll be right next to you. You're actually showing it for me and you're showing it for everyone in the audience to see. Um, make sure to keep your cameras on and make sure that um, it, is your mic off? No? Okay, good. Make sure that your mics are off. Uh, thumbs up and a smile if you are ready as the contestants. I'm checking, I'm checking. Beautiful smiles. Okay, we're ready. All right, let's do this. Coming, it's coming. <laughs> it's doing something. Early morning. Okay. First grade. This is your first question. What number will complete the number bond? You have one minute. All right, let's see the answer from William in first grade. And then we'll see the answer from Brian in first grade. All right, both are correct. Very good. The answer is 12. Second grade, this is your first question. Count by tens. 
blank, 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 400, blank. You have one minute. Ten seconds remain. Okay, they're ready. So Aviva will be the first, and then William will show his answer after. Yes, sir. Both are correct. 370, 380, 390, and 410. Very nice. Third grade, first question. Compare 4,001 and 3,999. What place value do you use to show that 4,001 is greater than 3,999? You have one minute. Okay. We will show the answer for Olivia first, and then from Emma. Both are correct. Thousands, please. Fourth grade, first question. Make the greatest five digit number using two digits that are the same and three other digits that are all different. <laughs> Seems we're ready. So Derek will go first. And then Sophie. Both, of them. Both are also correct. 99,876. Fifth grade. First question. Find the value of the following expression. 40 minus parentheses, 2 times parentheses, 8 minus 3, close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses, divided by 6. <laughs> Ten seconds remain. Time. Okay. 
We will see the answer from Stefanos first. And then the answer from Adrian. Got the same answer and they have the correct answer. Very good. Sixth grade, first question. Find the LCM of 15, 18, and 27. Ten seconds remain. Time. Thank you. We'll see the answer from Anna first. And then from Nathan. And they are both correct. Seventh grade, solve for M in seven X plus 10 equals five over M plus nine. Okay. We will see the answer form in Sabella first. And then from Soleil. The correct answer is M equals five over seven X plus one. Neither one has the correct answer. Let's go to the eighth grade question. Solve for the system of equations by using substitution. Y equals X squared and Y equals X plus two. Uh, right. We will see the answer from Mark Shaw first. And then from Mason. Mark Shaw for the red team doesn't have it, but Mason for the blue team has the correct answer, which is negative one, one and two comma four. Second round, first grade, follow the pattern and find the missing number. Four, 
10, 16, blank, 28. You have one minute. Uh, right, we will, we will see the answer first from William. And then the answer from Brian. All right, they're both correct, which is 22. Second grade, second question. What is less than 312? What is, I'm sorry, what is 10 less than 312? We will see the answer first from Aviva and then from William. They're both correct. The answer is 302. Third grade, second question. A store sells 3,000 cookies. 711 of them are sugar cookies. How many cookies are not sugar cookies? Remember to label your answer. We will see our answer first from Olivia and then from Emma. They're both correct at uh, 2,289 cookies. Fourth grade, list all the prime numbers between 60 and 70. We will see our answer first from Derek and then from Sophie. Both correct. <laughs> the answer is 61 and 67. Fifth grade, find the product in simplest form of one and one third times 18 over 25 times 35 over 36.
Ten seconds remaining. All right, we'll see the answer from Stefanos first. And then from Adrian. All right, neither one has the correct answer. The correct answer should be 14 over 15. Sixth grade, second question. Find the value of the following expression. Ten we will see the answer from Anna first. And Nathan second. They're both correct. The answer is 30. Seventh grade, second question. Find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line y equals negative a over two times x and has the same y-intercept as y minus 11 equals three x. Leave the answer in slope intercept form. We will see the answer from Isabella first, and then from Soleil. Both correct. Eighth grade, second question. Solve the system of equations. W equals three, W plus Y equals seven, two W plus X equals 11, negative Z plus W plus X equals two. You have two minutes.
One minute remaining. We will see the answer from Reksha first. <laughs> and then from Mason. So Mason has the correct answer for the blue team. Oh, we won't be doing. We we'll wait for the judges to see where we are and see if we need a tiebreaker. All right, we don't need a tiebreaker because it has been decided that the blue team has won the math team. Thank you everyone for participating. Thank you to all the teachers who contributed, who helped, who helped to set up, who helped with the questions. Thank you participants for coming and being so brave. I know it's very difficult to do this on a time manner. And thank you for all the teachers who help us to be better mathematicians every single day. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye, everyone.